Good evening. This is Akashwani Kohima. I am Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says, with country's GDP growing at 8%, day is not far for it to become world's third largest economy. Centre says Mission Organic Value Chain Development for Northeastern Region is being promoted in northeastern states. At least 84 killed in a major landslide in hilly Wayanad district of Kerala. And in Paris Olympics, India's Manu Pakar and Saropjot Singh clinches bronze in mixed 10-meter air pistol shooting. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the country's GDP is growing at 8% and the day is not far when it will become the third largest economy globally. Addressing the inaugural session of the journey towards Vixit Parat, a post-union budget 2024-25 conference in New Delhi today, Modi said India has reached new heights even after battling pandemic. He said government is focusing on all sectors. Modi said the speed and scale at which the government is building infrastructure is unprecedented. He said in 2004, in the first budget of the UPA government, capital expenditure was around 90,000 crore rupees and it increased to 2 lakh crore rupees in 2014. The Prime Minister said the budget size has now increased three times to 48 lakh crore rupees. He said the government has made a record increase in allocation of ministries. Modi said India is the only country with high growth and low inflation. The day-long conference is being organised by the Confederation of Indian Industries. Central government is promoting organic farming using organic manure through the schemes of Baram Barakat, Krishi Vikas Yojana, PKVY in all the states other than the northeastern states. The government is promoting mission organic value chain development for northeastern region exclusively in the northeast states. Informing the Lok Sabha through a written reply today, Minister of State for Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare Ramnath Thakur said that under the scheme, farmers are directly provided financial assistance of 32,500 rupees per hectare for three years for off-farm and on-farm organic inputs. In Kerala, at least 84 people have been killed in a major landslide in the Healy Wayanad district this morning following heavy rains at Muntakai, Adamala and Joramala regions. The death toll is likely to go up. More than 120 injured persons have been admitted to various hospitals. Official sources said over 100 persons are reportedly missing. President Robert Momo and Vice President Jagdeep Thanka and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have expressed condolences over the loss of lives in the landslides in Wayanad. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced an excretion of two lakh rupees from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for the next of kin of each deceased in the landslides. The injured will be given 50,000 rupees. The Prime Minister said that rescue operations are currently underway to assist all those affected. NDRF, Indian Army units, have been pressed into rescue and relief operations. Nagaland Governor La Ganesan and Chief Minister Nipirio have extended warm Naknulam greetings to Chang brothers and sisters. The Governor, in his greeting message, said the Naknulam festival marks our deliverance from darkness and coincides with the first harvest of the year. He said it is also a time for strengthening bonds through the exchange of gifts and delicacies among friends and relatives. The Governor expressed hope the Naknulam festival brings peace and unity among the community. Chief Minister Nipirio, in his greeting message, said the Naknulam festival celebrates the triumph of good over evil. Rio hoped that Naknulam festival will bring blessings of good health, peace and foster unity and goodwill. Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton also greeted the Chang community on the occasion of Naknulam. <laughs> विकसित भारत का ये है नया अध्याय सबसे समान व्यवहार मिलेगा सबको न्याय सरल है सुलभ है है पारदर्शी तकनीकी युक्त है और है स्वदेशी इसमें है महिलाओं
बुजुर्गों का सम्मान शामिल है इसमें जन जन की आन साथ इसके चलने का देश पर चढ़ा जुनून ये है आजाद भारत के अपने कानून दिस न्यूज कम्स टू यू फ्रॉम आकाशवाणी कोहिमा You can also listen to this news bulletin on news on air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. Noklak District Administration in collaboration with District Hub for Empowerment of Women Noklak and Hope Channel Dimapu organized the World Day Against Trafficking of Persons 2024. Speaking at a program, Noklak Deputy Commissioner Ari Gamba said that Noklak District is very vulnerable to trafficking due to various economic and social issues. The DC appealed the gathering to learn from the resource person and spread awareness to every citizen and village about human trafficking. Director of Protocols Home Dimapu K L A in her speech as the resource person talked about illegal adoption method practiced by the Naga community stating that such comes under human trafficking. She said that for human traffickers humans become a mere commodity for sale. Ella encouraged the students to be a channel to disseminate information and spread awareness around them. The program was held under the theme Leave No Child Behind in the fight against human trafficking. Representatives from Kumingan Tribal Council, Kumingan Menu Hoikam, students from different schools, police department and education department amongst others attended the program. In Assam, Lakshman Prasad Acharya today took oath as the new governor of the state. The Chief Justice of Guwahati High Court, Justice Vijay Bishnoi, administered the oath of office to the new governor. Chief Minister Himanda Biswas Sharma and his cabinet colleagues were present on the occasion. Acharya earlier served as the governor of Sikkim. The 20th Nagaland State Chess Championship 2024 is underway at the Nagaland Olympic Association Office Complex in Kohima. The tournament organized by the Nagaland Chess Association NCA was declared open by the association's vice president P K J. In his speech, K J said that chess originated in ancient India as chaturanga and evolved over centuries to become a global game of skill and strategy. He said that chess improves memory, problem-solving skills and creativity, making it a valuable educational tool. Keje said that NCA has a legacy of successful players and an international arbiter. He said that NCA also conducts coaching classes in some districts and would be doing the same across districts. NCA Honorary Secretary Mukaho Awomi announced that the tournament is being conducted according to a FIDE laws of chess and the FIDE Swiss system with nine rounds. A total of 76 participants are competing in the tournament, including Regu Haikam, a six-year-old from Beren District. The tournament will conclude on August 1. The Li Ning 46th Inter District and State Badminton Championship commenced today at Nagaland Armed Police Training Centre, Jumukidima. Over 180 players, both male and female, from 14 districts, including Nagaland Police Team, are competing in the championship hosted by Nagaland Police and sponsored by Li Ning. The championship will witness senior and junior categories, men and women singles, doubles and mixed doubles, junior boys and girls, and under-19 singles and doubles. The championship will continue till August 2nd. And in Paris Olympics, Manu Pakar and Saropjot Singh today clinched the bronze in a mixed 10-meter air pistol shooting event by defeating South Korean pair of Oh Ye Jin and Lee Won Ho 16-10. With this win, Manu etched her name in the history of Indian sports by becoming the first Indian athlete to win two medals at the same edition of the Olympics. Earlier, Manu won a bronze in the women's 10-meter air pistol event. President Robert Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Thanga and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have congratulated Manu Pakar and Sarup Jot Singh for winning the bronze medal in the 10-meter air pistol mixed team event at the Paris Olympics. And now it's Wednesday news. Here are the headlines again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says, with the country's GDP growth at 8 percent, days not far for it to become world's third largest economy. 
Center says Mission Organic Value Chain, development for northeastern region, is being promoted in northeastern states. At least 84 killed in a major landslide in Hili Wayanad district of Kerala. And in Paris Olympics, India's Manu Pagar and Sarup Jot Singh clinches bronze in mixed 10 meter air pistol shooting. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.